Canvas lovers, welcome back to my channel. And um, today we're going to be doing how to put on a simple Cavison bridle. So this is the bridle. This is the horse Summer, and we're going to be using her as a model. You can see she's already been tied up, and we've taken the halter off of her face so that we can put the bridle on without obstruction. So first thing I'm going to do: her head is up. If it was down, I would put the reins over my arm, not over her head. But since her head is up, because she's not eating, I'm going to take the reins and put them over her head because that makes it easier for me. And just very gently going to slide it over. You want to make sure you're as non-threatening as possible with that because they really don't like it if you come at their faces with too much of a challenge. Next thing, I'm very short. If she was a smaller horse, I could put my arm over her head, grab the brow band, pull it up, and that would make it easier to get everything done. But because she's tall and I'm not, I'm going to go in from underneath, but I'm going to hold it very gently on the bridge of her nose. That means I can stop her from lifting her head up. I can keep her head left and right. And I can also use it to help me guide the bit in. So what I'm going to do, get the bit to just touching her lips. Then I'm going to hold the cheek pieces with the bridge of her nose. So now I'm in a position where I can control her face and pull the bit up. Then with the other hand, I can have a little peek between your lips and make sure my bit is actually on the gap in the teeth. And she can see she's already taking it. A lot of the time people will have the bit kind of like underneath the bottom teeth. And the horse won't be taking the bit and they can't figure out why. It's literally just because the bit is in the wrong place. Then I'm going to take this hand on the far side, push the ear forward, thread it through. Take this ear closest to me, push it forward, thread it through. We never scrunch the ears through. It can be a little bit painful for them and make them a bit resistant about being bridled. Taking her forelock out, giving her a thank you scratch. Good girl. And then we're going to make sure that the nose band is under the cheek pieces on both sides. And tighten the buckle underneath her chin. This bridle is a tiny bit small for her on the nose band side. But as long as you can get two fingers in there, you're good to go. And then we're going to tighten her throat lash. The throat lash comes under the middle of her cheek. And we're going to tighten it so that you can get four fingers in sideways. Slide everything through the keeper to keep it nice and neat and tidy. And there you go. Horse is ready to go. To get the bridle off again. All we're going to do is reverse the process. So anything that's underneath the face has to be loosened, starting with a throat lash. She's very confused about why she's getting tucked up and nothing's happening. Then you're going to do the nose band. And then we're going to take the reins to the headpiece. Stick your finger behind each ear. There's a little bit of a groove behind each ear. So it's really easy to get your fingers in in that point. You can pull everything gently forward and slowly drop the bit off so the horse is comfortable during the whole process. All right, then once you've taken your bridle off, there's one thing you always want to do, and that is clean your bit. So you can either put it in an empty trough, put it in a, in a bath or under the tap, which is what I'm going to do. Hi, Summer. You're going to try and keep your, your leather work out the way, which is when in a bucket is really nice. You just dump it in the bucket and you hold all the straps out to the side. Just make sure all the food and the garb and everything is off so it's ready for the next time you use it and your horse has a nice clean bit. And then once your bit is nice and clean and your bridle's all done, put your reins over your arm, grab your throat lash, bump your reins forward onto the throat lash and buckle the throat lash up. And then your bridle is ready for storage. So that was how to put a bridle on. Um, sometimes you feel like you need an extra set of hands to do it. I hope the way I showed you will make that a little bit easier to understand. And um, if you guys enjoyed that video, please leave a like and subscribe. And hope to see you guys again soon.